Hey guys, and welcome back to a new video. Well, today we're going to be doing a modeling video in my 2018, and we're going to be doing a twisted candlestick, okay? It's not necessarily about the candlestick, it's about the modeling methods, as always. There are many ways to achieve your goal, so this is one of them, all right? So uh, check it out and have some fun. Here we go. Right, guys, well, we're in my 2018, we're going to be doing a candlestick, as mentioned, and uh, it's not about a candlestick, it's about the modeling techniques that we're going to use, okay? So uh, that said, let's get started. We're going to start with a uh, polygon cylinder. I'm going to hit the control A to open up the attribute editor. I want to make sure we have enough subdivision going on. Let's do 40. I'll set the uh, caps to zero. There we go. And then we're going to go in. I have to zoom in. I don't want the bottom cap here. I click face and delete. And we're going to jump in from this view. We're going to right click at object mode, hit W to move that up. Actually, let's scale it out first. Then we're going to move that up until we're sitting on our grid here. And we're going to right click at a vertex, drag select the top vertices and bring that down to about there. Now that's going to be our starting point. Okay. So we're going to right click at a face. We're going to select that. Control E to extrude. R to scale in. G to repeat, W to push down, G to repeat again, R to scale in again, and W to raise slightly, G to repeat again, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push down, G to repeat, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push up, G to repeat again, R to scale in again, and W to slightly raise that up. And then we're going to go into insert edge loop, option box, multiple will do three. There you go. Q on our keyboard. And what we'll do is we'll uh, right click at an edge. We'll just double click on this one. W, push that one down just slightly. And then we'll push this one down just slightly as well. Okay, cool. Right click object mode, hit three to preview smooth. You can see that it needs some work. It has an end gone right there. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into uh, mesh tools. We're gonna set it to single. Let's add one, oops, not there. I want one right there to hold that shape. Let's do one right there. We'll do one here. Right there and right there. That seems to be okay. We can do one here. We can do one here. And let's do one up there. Q on a keyboard, object mode, hit three to preview smooth. Much, much better. All right. Hit one to go back. Now I want one here as well. So I'm going to hit face, control E to extrude, and R to very, very slightly bring in. And Q on a keyboard. So now if we hit three again, you'll see that I got a bit crisper line there. Now we do have an end gone here in the middle, but don't worry about it because we're not done yet. I want to go back. We're going to take that face. We're going to hit uh, control E once again. We'll hit R to scale in, then G to repeat last command, W to push up to about, let's do this, G to repeat, R to scale in, G to repeat, W to push up, and G to repeat, R to scale out, and W to push up. Then we're going to go in to uh, insert edge loop again. Let's go to multiple, set that to five. And then we'll set that to two, actually maybe one even, one. And we'll do one in each section. Let Q on a keyboard. We're gonna jump into this view right here. And we're gonna right click at a vertex. 
drag select all of these, hit R, and slightly pull them out. Skip a row, both ends, pull it out again, keep on going. Alright, now not sure if that is enough for you or not. If you do not think so, you can tweak that if you like. What I'm going to do though is I'm going to right click at a face, click and come on, shift double click, one here, and let's do these guys in the middle here. Okay, we're going to hit control E and we're going to do 0.1 okay let's do that soft select again which will give us this and that is okay all right so now what we need to do is we need to go in onto this face control e to extrude r to scale in to about there and then take that face and delete it that's going to be the bottom part of our uh, candlestick. And let's see, just watching to see if this is too high or not. And that looks okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take in the twisted section. That needs to be modeled separately. So we have a cylinder going on here. And what we're going to do is we're going to go in and set that to 40 subdivision levels. And let's get rid of the caps. Okay. Now, we're gonna bring that down. Let's make sure that we're centered from the top. Hit four for wireframe mode, we seem to be. And we need to be aware of the dimensions because of the twist that we're gonna create, okay? So I'm gonna hit R and I'm gonna scale this down basically until I'm pretty close to that hole that we just created, like so. We don't need that bottom face, so we're gonna delete it. And then we're going to go in, after zoom in, we're going to right click at a vertex, drag select, hit W and push that down. Not quite sure if I'm happy with that top just yet here. Hang on. What I can do here is go to edge, double click on that and just raise that up a little bit. That will work a bit better, okay? Right, so we've got this guy, we're gonna bring it down. And then we're gonna jump into this view. We're gonna right click at a vertex, drag select, and bring that up. Now we kinda need to decide how long we want that twisted part to be. That looks to be about right. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in. I actually wanna make sure that I'm doing that from the right angle. So I'm going to right click at a face and I'm going to select these four faces right here. Okay. Control E to extrude and a W to pull out, which will give me something like this. All right, that looks fine. Then we're going to hit R and we're going to push it in at an angle like this. And now we need uh, quite a bit of subdivision to get it nice. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to object mode. Let's go to our insert edge loop again. Let's set this to five and then we'll go back in. We'll set it to four. And I got all these done. Okay. Q on our keyboard. Now I don't need those faces on the top here either. And it's an MGON that we don't need, so let's delete those. And what we're gonna do next is we're gonna take this object here and we're gonna go to deform, nonlinear, and twist. Okay. Then we're gonna go into our attribute editor and we're gonna tweak that end angle here. And let's see how many twists that will give us. That is actually not too bad. Let's see if we need more. That would be a bit much, okay? So let's hit Control Z on that. I'm liking this. Right click object mode, 
three to preview smooth. Yeah, it looks nice. So I'm gonna go to edit, delete by type, history, which will get rid of that deformer. And now I can have a look from the top here. And what I need to do is go to uh, modify and center pivot on this guy. Hold down X, snap it to the center. And let's have a look, that looks nice. Maybe we can make it slightly bigger. So it kind of sticks out a bit. I'll just uh, bring that up like this. Yeah, it looks kind of cool. All right, so now that we have that, let's deal with the top part here. And uh, for that, we'll take a new uh, cylinder. So uh, there we go. And the W to push that up. And we're gonna go in, we're gonna set caps to zero. So I can go in and delete that one. And there you go. And let's see, um, hang on, do I want to do that? Yes, I want to do that. Yep, okay. All right, so yeah, uh, we're gonna hit a W, we're gonna bring this down. Just give me one sec, guys, I'm just thinking on how we're gonna do this. I could do that on this guy, but I'm gonna lose my symmetry, so. What we'll do is we'll go back and I'll actually leave those triangles in there, which is fine. Triangles are not bad. We are going to check it from the top here. We're gonna increase its size a bit and let's do 40 subdivisions. All right, cool. We're gonna right click at a vertex, drag select the top there, hit W to push that down. And now we kinda of need to take into account the overall shape, form, and so forth. Now for here, we're gonna to go to insert edge loop once again. We'll do three right there. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click go to face. We're gonna hit Control E to extrude. We're gonna hit R to scale that out. And then we're gonna take uh, this guy, just this guy. Control E as well. Let's do 0 0.1 on the thickness. It looks all right. We're gonna take the whole thing. Let's see where we're at. That's about right. And then we can start to worry about our bowl, if you will, okay? So what we're gonna do here is we are going to jump into the top. Uh, let's see, well, we'll do it from this area. We're gonna take these faces and take them out. Come on. I think that's a clean selection, yeah. And delete that, all right. Okay, so from here, we're gonna go in, we're gonna right click at an edge, we're gonna double click. We're gonna hit uh, Control E to extrude, W to push up, and R to scale out, G to repeat last command, R to scale out a lot more. And now we're gonna start to take into account the overall dimensions. We're gonna hit W to push that up just a little. G to repeat, W to push up. And R to scale out. G to repeat, W to push up. To about there. G to repeat, R to scale in. And G to repeat, and W to push down. Okay. And R to scale in. And then G to repeat, R to scale way, way in. Like this. We're gonna go to our insert edge loop again. 
written at Q on a keyboard. Click on that one. W to push that down. And I'm trying to get a kind of a bowl shape going on here. Okay, and I'm going to take this one right here. That looks all right. And then from there, we're going to hit R to scale that in a bit more. And then Control E to extrude, W to push up, and R to scale in. Now that may be a bit too high. Let's see. Yeah, so we're going to hit W, we're going to push that down a little, hit R. F to zoom in, R to scale in, and we can tweak it by taking that last edge in there and kind of scaling that in. All right, so not too bad. Let's see, we're gonna right click at object mode. Let's hit three to preview smooth. Let's see how it looks. You can see it needs some edge loops. Okay, so we're going to add one right there and right there to all that shape. Let's go in, we'll do one here, we'll do one there, one at the top, at the top, nope, not there, nope, not there. Again, one there, one there. And let's do a preview smooth. Let's see. That looks all right. Okay, so we're going to go to mesh and smooth to actually smooth this instead of a preview smooth. We have the same going on here, if I'm not mistaken. Mesh and smooth. There you go. And then we've got this guy and we'll do mesh and smooth. All right, so that is basically our candlestick. I'm going to take this guy into Keyshot to give it some uh, color and you'll see it show up on the final render, okay? So hopefully this uh, little tutorial um, taught you a couple of new things. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, uh, don't forget to hit that like button. Uh, and if you don't want to miss out on future videos, uh, don't forget to subscribe, okay? Well, that said, guys, thank you very much for watching. You are really, really appreciated, and see you guys next time. Bye. Well, thanks for watching, and before you go, please hit that MH button to subscribe, okay? See you guys next time. Bye.